a great movie. Oh, it sure was. I especially liked the part where the space aliens sucked all those cows up into their spaceship and then switched brains with the cows so they could come back to Earth and infiltrate our society unnoticed. Yeah, yeah, that, that, was, that was great. What do you suppose that is? I'm bored, Jerry. B-O-R-D, bored. Why did we want to work at the Bumbleberg Science Lab? Because we wanted to see space aliens. And what have we seen in two long years? Huh? Nothing. Nothing. N-U-T. You know, nothing. Watch the screen, they said. Keep your eyes on the screen. So we watched the screen for two years. And what do we see? Nothing. And then there's the light. If this light ever flashes, something from space is about to hit Bumbleberg. Alert Larry Boy immediately. Maybe we can get our old jobs back at Mr. Slushy. What? Master Larry, excuse me, Master Larry. Yes, Alfred. Uh -huh. No time now, Alfred. Duty call. I'm fallen and I can't get up. find another one. Oh, it is a special plate. My dad says, That's Art Bugatti, the greatest bowler that ever rolled a ball. Only 200 plates made. It's collectible. Let's just find another plate. Mr. Snuggly is a very special bear. He deserves a special plate. I'm sure my dad won't mind. <laughs> My, um, I have to take out the, um, I gotta go. Huh? Who said that? Mr. Snuggly, you can talk? I'm home. Hi, Junior. How was your day today? My plate! My Art Bugatti Limited Edition Collector's Plate! What happened to it? Well... It's Laura's fault. She broke the plate. I tried to stop her. She said she had to demonstrate her apple chopper. The apple chopper worked just great, but chopped right through your bowling plate. It's Laura's fault. She broke the plate. It's true! And that's the tale I have to tell to you. Oh, my. If that's what you say happened, then, well, I trust you, Junior. But I'm very surprised at Laura. I'm going to have to call her father right away. You're right. I don't have to worry about that plate anymore. I'm free. I feel great. You were right. A little fib can't hurt anybody. Oh! I'm with you all the way, Fib. <laughs>
Alfred. Go ahead. Yes. Um, have you located the foreign object? I'm afraid not. The Larry Mobile and I have been all over Bumbleberg, and we haven't seen anything that looks like it came from outer space. Nothing at all? Well, we did see a kid with green hair. Oh, and a dog that could whistle. Alfred, if there's a space alien in this town, Larry Boy will bring him in. Hey, Junior! Hi, Percy. Junior, I just came from Laura's house, and she got in trouble for breaking your dad's bowling plate. Except she says she didn't break it. She says you did. Who's telling the truth? Oh, well, actually, she's right. Huh? Laura didn't break the plate. It was... it was Lenny. Her brother? Yep, that's right. Lenny broke the plate. I'll tell you the whole story. It's Lenny's fault he broke the plate. He's very naughty. Just how was I to know he hated Art Bugatti? He gave it to a crocodile who chewed it up for quite a while. It's Lenny's fault he broke the plate. It's true. And that's the tale I have to tell to you. Whoa, gee, I didn't think Lenny was capable of that kind of violence. He seemed like such a nice kid. I didn't even know he had a crocodile. What do you mean you can't find it? I'm telling you, Alfred, I've looked everywhere. It's just not here. Master Larry, I've gone all over the data from the science lab, and I have to agree with their conclusions. Something from outer space landed in Bumbleberg. It simply has to be around there somewhere. Look, Alfred, I've been driving around all day. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I've got to go to the bathroom. This suit is very constricting. I'm coming home now. But the security of Bumbleberg rests in you. There are no space aliens in Bumbleberg. There he is! Hi, guys. Huh? What do you mean? Says it it is I have no idea. says she didn't bring the plate. Why? Why? Pippa, right? No, that's not what I said at all. You didn't break the plate, and you didn't break the plate. No. It was these space aliens. They came down, and they grabbed these cows, and they switched brains with the cows, and the cows with the brains of the space aliens broke the plate. Funny, I just saw that same thing happen in a movie. Invasion of the Cow Snatchers. You did? That's another lie! Nothing but a big, fat, ugly... I'm still stuck in the molasses swamp. I've been here for 38 turns. Your turn, Alfred. Yes, let's see. Oh, look! I get to go all the way to Princess Lolly! What luck! Huh? Your turn. Still stuck. I sure hope the rest of Bumbleberg is having a better day than I am. Wow, that was really something. 